I think we're live. I got a warning. Hey, good morning. 5 a.m. Master Scrum Show. I hope we're doing well today. It's it's cold here. I had to take the kid out earlier this morning doing my commute into the office, just like everyone else doing the hybrid role. And I wanted to talk about trying different roles in the new year. Or give a different role a different shot or put it, I don't know, just try something out. Last night, my son... <laughs> decided he wanted to be goalie playing ice hockey last night never played it before never got the pads on ever you know um, my wife's like girl you, you don't have to go to no I want to go watch him practice and just keep an eye on him and see how he's doing and just enjoy watching him play goalie it's kind of scary when you do something for the first time it was interesting um, and this is the 5 a.m. Master Scrub Show by the way and we're live from the Wawa parking lot the Wawa parking lot there you go, Wawa Park. A beautiful day out there, though. Look at that sunrise. Sunrise, awesome today. So, um, in the 5 a.m. Master Scrum Show, we talk about doing tips and tricks and things that help you bring value to your customer without working extra hard. Get home to family, friends. Get to watch your kids <laughs> play uh, goalie on an ice hockey team for the first time ever. You know, it's kind of thing that goes on. And, um, one of the things that I I heard or my wife told me, she said, one of the kids says, don't ever volunteer to play goalie. Whatever you do, whatever they talk to you with, they don't do. But you know what? He wanted to try playing goalie. And my favorite part about it, it gave him, a, gave him appreciation for the person in that position. So many, I was listening to this. We got sports radio here in Philadelphia, and they, they criticize every time. And all their job is criticize, criticize, and, and pick on people. And until you actually play those positions, you really don't know. And uh, he got the chance to do that. And as a coach, by the way, I had some things I saw. I always asked permission. I said, hey, Ed, is it okay if I have – I got three things, right? Um is it okay if I share three things with him? And I and I and he says, yeah, you can share three things with me, Dad. Because you just don't want to lecture about all the. I, I mean, could I identify fifty million things? Probably, but three things was enough. And as a coach, when you coach people, it's not about everything. It's about one or two things that they could work on. And um, first thing was keep the stick in the, between his legs so that he blocks the goals. Second one was. What was the second one? Oh, was uh, stretching out and that and he had to help him because I saw him do the splits and I said, "Oh shoot, he's not ready to do the splits yet." So I got to help him stretch out, make sure he can do the splits without hurting himself, because you don't realize the skates are slippery, right? So anyway, but but one of the things that the so there's I forgot what the third one was. I think practice with the knees that he should practice doing some knee bends just to get used to putting the knee and getting up off the ice. He can do that at home without ice skates on. So anyway, those are my three things. Three small things for him to work on. Nothing crazy. Um, he did a great job out there blocking some goals and, you know, <laughs> taking the shots with the hockey puck for the first time. But one of the, like I said, one of the things some, one young guy said, don't ever try to play goalie or don't take it if they ask you to be goalie don't volunteer and i see that a lot in teams like you have developers and testers right two main roles and record i think it's good for everyone to try the different roles even as a product owner you know some people may not want to do that but maybe they follow the product owner for for a week or a sprint to see what they go through to get the information they need so anybody on the team can follow the product or and just shadow them for an entire sprint or at least a week or something or part time or when they go to meetings they don't have to do everything and they go all day long but the, when they go meet with the customer they can definitely shadow them and find out what how what it's like to get answers to questions and then um dev and test right dev always complains about tests and test always complains about dev so why don't we swap roles a little bit why don't we say hey Dev, why don't you be a tester for a while and see what it's like to do testing? Do that for a sprint, and and testers the same. Do some development work for a sprint, or at least a story or two, and try those different roles out so you have a better respect for what the other people on the team are doing. It's just things from last night, just seeing that, and um, 
you know, more power to the people that actually do switch roles and try the different roles because it's scary. It ain't easy. And it's just like, oh, just talk about great. No, you got to do it. So, like my career, I've done multiple roles, done pretty much every role there is um, in, in the IT business. So I, I've been there. Um, but it's scary, and but it gives you a new appreciation for what everyone does. Um, and I think it's important. So with that, I'm going to say happy scrumming. Check out the morning. There's a car coming in. I think it's beautiful out there today. So I want to give that up. And I want to wish you all the best. And have a great day. Happy scrumming. Try a different role. Encourage people to try different roles. Even if it's just for a story or two. It doesn't have to be the whole sprint because you know they're going to go, well, I can't do the whole sprint. That's too much. So try to get them to do a story. With that, I say good luck and uh, best of luck to all those people who do try on the new roles. It's a tough decision to make. And thank you very much for doing so. All right. And with that, we're going to hang up and we're going to close the signal.